Hi everybody, thank you so much for being here with me today. I feel like with this video, I don't even care like really who's interested in it, if anybody wants to watch it. I personally feel I am doing my duty to the beauty community by doing this because I've got an awesome find to talk about and I really wanna show you the full spread, the whole color range with these Revlon, they're called Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polishes. So we've seen this packaging, we've seen the Ultra HDs out for some time and they've been a matte version. Well, now they've put out this super shiny lip polish style product, and I think it's absolutely great. First off, say what you want about Revlon, but they are pretty darn good when it comes to the lip products. They've got their super lustrous lipsticks. They've done the ultra HD lipsticks. They've recently made over the super lustrous gloss line. There's another thing I probably need to talk about, but they've also come out with these, and these are going to be your really opaque, shiny, one swipe does it all kind of lip product. And they really do remind me of the effect I get from the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip. So that was another thing where it had all the shine, it had kind of a moisturizing feel, which these do, enough thickness to hang on the lips a decently long time, a good even wear down, which you'll notice with some of these, you even have quite a bit of color left behind once the shine is gone. Just the overall texture on the lips, the thickness, I mean, there's a lot of similarities across the two lines. There are a lot of shades I love. I will point out my favorites as we go um, through this try-on. I've got three different color families. I've got three nudes and then four berry type shades and then five colors that I would categorize as brights. As far as the formula, they claim that it's got vitamin E, shea butter, creamy mango, and whipped vanilla fragrance. Um, as far as the fragrance goes, if, if this is whipped vanilla, Never has the scent of the Ultra HD products struck me as being vanilla. To me, it's kind of a strong sort of tropical scent. If you have ever smelled one of their Ultra HD mattes or the Ultra HD lipsticks, it's that kind of scent all over again with these, which I think is pretty strong. Um, it's definitely nothing that I notice as I wear them. It's just what you notice taking it out of the tube, maybe giving it a little whiff here as you apply. You will notice that. I think it's pretty strong. Um, it's not unpleasant. It doesn't smell smell bad, but it's definitely something that strikes me as a little bit of a tropical type vibe. Pretty sweet, and it almost makes me think of a butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. And the way the applicator is on these, it looks like just a classic doe foot. It is not oversized in any way, but there actually is a little bit of a scoop to this one. So a slight dip, and you will feel that as it goes across your lips. And with the application on these, I really try to do it all without going back for more. And that may vary as your product ages a little bit and you use up more and more and maybe there's not as much coming out on your doe foot as there is when it's brand new. But I try to, you know, get all over that bottom lip, do a little blot to the top lip sometimes or just go straight to the top lip and finish off. And I feel like the little bit of a well, the dip that's in this does hold quite a bit of product and I can get all over. Plus, I don't feel over gooped, you know, when I'm done. I know I use that phrase a lot with makeup, but like I could even kick up the shine of what I'm wearing right here more if I went back in and maybe did another pass. But at the same time, look at me. I've got a bold red on my lips. I'm not looking for a lot of extra product that can just transfer off onto my cup and maybe get on my teeth and get outside the lip line. So I think your neatest application and your most controlled application and wear comes from not going back in unless you really have to. But the finish on the lips, as you can see, is most definitely very shiny. And I feel like the shine does hang around a decently long time. It's really hard to make claims on lip products because we're all, you know, either drinking out of something or we're eating something and we're doing that stuff at different times of day. And I can't tell you exactly how long something like this is going to wear. And it's not a liquid lipstick, so it's not going to set and have that dry down. It's going to maintain a glossiness. But that being said, I think the glossiness wears a pretty long time. And I credit that to the thickness of the product. If you have a really, like, oily, thin, temporarily shiny looking lip product, that stuff's going to wear off in a heartbeat. You can practically lick it off. This stuff has a thickness to it. It's not sticky. It does not feel uncomfortable, but there is an essential, I think, thickness to this that helps the shine wear a good long while. And then we're going to reach a point in this try once we get into the berries and the brighter shades where there is a definite like color left behind when the shine goes. And I've worn some of the deepest shades around and I've 
I've noticed an evenness of wear underneath that. And so you're at work, you're working hard, you're not really thinking about your lip product, you've already gone through lunch and you look in the mirror, you're not gonna be really shocked by what you see. If you're wearing one of the deeper shades, this doesn't so much apply with the nudes, but if you're wearing something from the Berry or the Bright's Color family and you look at yourself and you haven't touched it up through most of the day, I still think you're gonna see a lot of color on your lips and it's gonna look pretty even. So is that enough background info for you? $9.99 um, is the price tag. It may be a great thing to find in a buy one get one half off deal or a buy one get one free if you can, but they are really something special and in comparison to the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses, those are gonna be more sheer. Um, there's gonna be some maybe sparkle infused in some of those shades, you know? The Super Lustrous Glosses are gonna feel a little lighter on the lips. Here there is a bit more thickness and weight, but actually I think a little more moisturization comes with that and also that really opaque color. And nothing in this line has shimmer. And that's a real characteristic of the Bobbi Browns as well. You know, they were just pure colors. So we've got 12 to go through here. Let's start with our, what I'm calling the nude category, our three most natural shades. And the first one and the lightest one is called Act Natural. And this I would call a peachy nude. This is one that I really look at with a critical eye, the, both the lightest and usually the darkest in the line to see if it's going to go on evenly and not be streaky. And I do feel like I get an even full colored application. Uh, that being said, it's not my very favorite color. The next couple in this category I really, really love, but this is the lightest shade you're gonna run into in this line. Now moving on, we've got Birthday Suit, and I love this shade of pink. It's a soft pink. It does have some kind of neutral in it, but it's kind of cooler too. It's a little bit unique, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Again, very full colored, not streaky at all. I think it's a super wearable shade, and it is one of my favorites out of the whole lineup. Another mega favorite for me is the next one called Date Night. And I described this in my favorites video as kind of like the deepest, dustiest rose. This is your um, summer into fall transition color. It gives you a little depth without really stepping into that dark, vampy place. And I do think this wears pretty well. While none of these nudes leave behind an intense kind of color, this shade still has some depth and obviously reapply for the freshest look. But this is gonna be the best in terms of the appearance of lasting color on your lips from this nudes category. But my favorites there, definitely birthday suit and date night. Now we're gonna move into the berries and we have one shade to start things off out of these four that seems a little disconnected from everything else. We do have a pure purple in here and this shade is called Game On and it is just true purple. It's the kind of color where as I put it on, I was really having my doubts like, oh my gosh, this seems wild. But then when I looked at the finished product all over my lips, I thought, hey, I kind of like that. I really do not see myself getting a ton of use out of this color compared to some of the others, but just know there is a pure purple in this lineup. Now the next couple, absolutely loving. Um, Violet Frenzy. This is so pretty. We're getting more into berry, but kind of that purpley berry place. And I think this shade brings so much life to the face. I love it with a simple eye or a bold lash maybe. It's just absolutely brilliant. And there's enough depth to it that I just feel really comfortable in this color. But hold that thought because the next one I really want you to compare to it. It's called Berry Blist. And this one is a similar depth level, but more more red in it, less purple. So I love these both, but I think Violet Frenzy might be a little more outside the box, maybe a bit more daring in terms of color tone, a little more unique. But Berry Bliss, that richness of color, the beautiful shine, it's got depth, but not too dark for me to feel kind of funny about wearing this all over the lips. Both of those, I have a really hard time deciding between them. I think they're both real favorites for that category. And then we get into our deepest color from the entire lineup, but I thought it sort of fell in the Berry family and this is the shade called So Shady. So much like the lightest color, with this one I'm looking at it very critically thinking, is it gonna show streaks? Is it going to look uneven on the lips by the time I get done applying? And I really don't think it does at all. Um, I think it's a beautiful shade. It is going to be one of your riskier options because a shiny dark lip color is just not very low maintenance. Here's a situation where I would probably prefer a matte finish because I would just think, well, it's set, it's not going anywhere. Here it's so dark, it's really 
really gonna show if something gets swiped outside the lines a little bit. But as far as everything you really can control with this product, yes, it does go on evenly, and it is a really pretty fall shade. Now we're gonna get into our largest category, and these are what I'm calling the brights. We have five to talk about, and we're going basically from bright pink, hot pink, coral, orange to red. And these are really fun. I think Revlon realized, okay, we've got this full colored formula. It's totally opaque. Let's really pop in some color here because this formula pulls it off well, and it really does. So we've got this first shade here. This one is called Fearless Who, and I would almost call this a bright, warm pink. Um, it's really fun. It's beautiful across the lips. Again, you get that full satisfaction of the opaque color all over. But a little warmth to this one, and it's going to be slightly softer than the next one, which I would call a full-on hot pink. And that shade, my friends, is called Rule the World, and this is stunning. I mean, it is the purest hot pink color you can imagine. More coolness compared to the last shade and just more brightness overall. I do think it's really beautiful. I think realistically those two berry shades that I pointed out loving, um, those are going to be the ones that I go to more just because I feel comfortable in a little more depth most of the time, but it still is a stunning shade. Can't take anything away from that. Then we get into our orangey coral place. We've got this shade called Power Up. Um, this one unexpectedly was something I started to look at as I applied thinking, is this going to be streaky? Because it did seem light, and my lips by this point in time had developed a certain amount of uh, stained on darkness from some of these other colors, but it still pulled it off, I think. I still ended up with this corally brightness, which is really what you see is what you get from the tube. There's just a ton of pure orange in this shade. I know some people love that. Some people like to go a little more pinky with their corals, so just keep in mind, this is a really pure orangey coral. Now, the last two would be my favorites in in this part of the lineup. Um, we've got one called She's on Fire. Guys, this is tomato red. I just got done picking like a whole bowl full of cherry tomatoes off of my plant last night, and this is really the exact shade of those ripe tomatoes I was picking off the vine. It is so beautiful. Um, I really am more prone to reaching for this than I am a brighter orangey shade. I like the amount of red that's in this too, and it's just so fun. It's kind of retro. You guys can admit there are a lot of times that I've done lip color try on and this type of color really steals my heart. So I love that, but I also love this last shade, and this is what I've been wearing throughout the whole video. And this is called Cherry on Top, and this is what I'd call our pure red. If you look at it side by side with the last one, you can see there's a lot less warmth, but I wouldn't really call it insanely cool either. You know, it's just really that middle of the road, 100% pure red. It looks beautiful on. I mean, it's that kind of Hollywood starlet type of lip. I will say with these kinds of bright colors, again, you're taking a bit of a risk by wearing it in a shiny format, but it might just be worth the risk. And like I said, follow my little tip of not over applying and not dipping back into your tube unless you really feel you have to. And when it's brand new, I don't think you'll have to. There is a well in the applicator and you can just apply that little bit of extra pressure and I think really be satisfied with what you've got on your lips and you won't feel like it's too much or too goopy or anything. So again, I guess just recapping the favorites, I love birthday suit. If you like a soft kind of nudie pink, uh, date night for your deep dusty rose, a couple of phenomenal berries. You be the judge. Do you like your berry to have a little more purple in it or just a little more red and more of a classic berry? Either way, they are both absolutely gorgeous. And then from the last category, I think there's just something about the overall look of the face in this shade or this shade. It's crazy how they're seemingly close, but yet they can look so different once applied. But I mean, you can't go wrong with this whole line. There's so much consistency. You saw them all go on. They were what you see is what you get types of colors. And I'm looking for that in a gloss. I'm looking for the gloss that does it all. There are plenty of times when I will wear a more sheer gloss and I'll be happy enough with it, you know, but this is what really captures my heart is the kind of shiny lip product that makes you feel moisturized, that looks really bold and delivers on exactly what you see in the tube, and then what's going to wear with some evenness throughout the day. And by evenness, I mean that as you lose shine, as some of that shine starts to blot away because you've taken drinks and you've done whatever, you still end up with a lot of color left behind. That's what I'm getting at here. So while I'm raving like crazy, as you guys know, this is not sponsored. I don't do sponsored videos, but this was sent to me as a PR sample, this whole package of products. And I'm really glad it was because I'm excited to show you this entire range. And oh, in case you're wondering what else is on my face, I'm wearing my Lorac Luxe Diamond Palette today. So those kinds of tones on the eyes and then on my cheeks, 
I'm wearing my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the blush called Love is the Drug. So thank you guys for your time today. I hope this was useful. Let me know your favorite shades in the comments section or what shades you've already tried. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.